In Denmark, we have very little control with uh, the intelligence agencies, and even if we compare ourselves to uh, our neighbors in Norway, it's very, very, very little. And if we compare ourselves to America, it's even uh, poorer than in America, which I think many Danes would be surprised to know. Regarding the relations of, uh, of intelligence agencies in the Middle East or in other places of the world, we know that very little of what's going on. Uh, actually, we know more from whistleblowers, as, as Edward Snowden, than we do from our own oversight. We know from, from former well, stories in news media that the Danish intelligence agencies have had and probably still have a relation with the Mossad in Israel. Uh, and we also know from Edward Snowden that we have a very tight cooperation with, in what they call the Nine Eyes uh, in the American uh, intelligence agency society. Of course, we need intelligence agencies to try to prevent terrorism attacks. At the same time, I think we need to realize, and I think more and more we do, and also in Danish society, broadly speaking, uh, we need to realize that when we um, diminish our own democracy, intervene in our own democracy, our own freedom and rights, and not controlling our intelligence agencies, we are actually doing the terrorists a, a favor.